What is up, everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to make thousands more a month using Google My Business. I'm joined with a special guest. Aaron is with me. Aaron, how's it going, man? What's up, my man? Glad to have you back on the channel, man. We're going to be spilling some uh, Google My Business secrets in this one. But before we get into that, I want to let you guys know, me and Aaron recently built out a group to help you guys with your ongoing pressure washing questions. We go live every other week talking about Google My Business, Facebook ads, other marketing tactics, and much, much more. So click the first link in the comment section and description if you are interested in possibly joining the group. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into the video. So first things first, Aaron, explain to us what Google My Business is for people who may not know. Sure, man. I know that a lot of guys, you know, new guys getting started probably don't know. Um, at least that's what we see in some of the events that we put on. You know, probably about, I don't know, 90% of the guys there don't have a Google My Business set up, which was a crazy stat for me. I thought everyone had a Google My Business and, and knew the importance. But Google My Business is a, a way that Google came up with in order to serve the local market and local search. Okay, it used to just be on Google when you would search a, a term that all of the websites would show up and then some of the ads would show up at the top. They didn't have a way to uh, focus on local business like restaurants, pressure washers, right? Like everything that's nearby within a proximity. And that's what Google My Business uh, has focused on. How many leads a month can we say that we're getting from Google or how many leads can we expect to get from Google? What does that kind of look like? Sure. So that's going to fluctuate depending on the authority of your site, uh, how well optimized your Google My Business is, um, how new it is, you know, how consistent your links are, uh, uh, the proximity, right, to uh, a good lead source, right, like a metropolitan area or something like that. There's a lot of things that kind of come into play when it uh, pertains to lead flow. Uh, but you're definitely going to want to focus on building that Google My Business and driving more authority to it and making sure that it ranks better and better in that map pack uh, to where you can build kind of a bedrock foundation of lead flow coming in. I can't really answer your question as far as how many you should expect, because that definitely depends on, you know, if you're in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana, I can't say that you're going to have as many as a guy who lives in the middle of uh, Philadelphia or something like that, just starting out. Absolutely, and it takes time. You know, guys just starting out, there's guys who have been in the business for 20 years. Obviously, they're gonna be ranking a little bit higher than people who are just starting out, but what type of leads actually come through? Like, is it mostly residential? Is it commercial as well? Is it a good mix of both? It's both, and, and if you're in a metropolitan area, you really can, you know, maximize the commercial side you know, obviously with rural, it's going to be a lot more residential type stuff, maybe some uh, big, you know, commercial factory type buildings. Or if you're in the middle of nowhere, maybe some, uh, you know, farm grain bins or something would be the commercial side. But it's it's a pretty good mix. I would say 80 percent for me is residential, 70 to 80 percent. And then that other 30 ish percent is is commercial work. What would you say the quality is like? I mean, we always talk about uh, these different types of marketing. There's interruption marketing and there's more of like a targeted marketing or when they're searching for you, actively searching for you. It would seem like the Google My Business leads would be better because they're actively searching. Have you found that? Absolutely. So Google My Business is really one of the things that I focused on early on mastering. And I got pretty good at ranking and, you know, I was just a pressure washer, right? And then I figured out how to kind of crack the code to rank this Google My Business on command. So I did it for a few other companies just to make sure that it wasn't just a fluke and it wasn't just me. But I have built my business off the back of Google on ranking my site and ranking that Google My Business in the Maps pack. And I would say just because I really don't do any other kind of marketing right now, I'm, I'm pretty lean and mean and I intend to stay that way. Uh, the type of leads that come through are very high intent to buy. You know, I got a lot of colleges like community colleges and even like Vanderbilt and some bigger universities around here. And when they call, they are ready to buy. All right. And so usually it's a really big job. They have to have something cleaned up for a ceremony or something like that. The people who call you from your Google My Business, you're going to notice their intent to buy is probably double or triple from other lead sources because there's just how intentional you have to be to search out that term pressure washing service or house washing 
service or something like that. You know, somebody sitting on their porch and they're typing in this into their phone. That's different than someone who is driving down the road and sees a sign that says, you know, $99 house wash and they're trying to capitalize on a deal. You know what I mean? They're going to, you know, take a photo of it and maybe call you and say, hey, can I get the $99 thing? And you're going to be like, well, that's the starting price, right? So, oh, I thought that was for everybody. So they kind of get out of there and hang up. Google My Business has a very high intent to buy um, situation when it comes to prospects. Right. So it's just a different customer base. It's, uh, yeah, like you said, they're more serious about purchasing. They're not necessarily price shopping because they're specifically searching for you. Um, so for somebody who's hearing this and they think, you know, it's a good idea for me to jump in, create a Google My Business, how difficult is it to create one? It's not so hard to create it. Um, you know, you are just basically, if you want to get like Google walk you through that, they'll try to walk you through that because they obviously want you to be in their environment and start working in their environment. The big thing that I've noticed for guys is, is optimizing it. Okay. And then driving authority to it. All right. And how to do that, how to, how to, you know, make everything consistent when it comes to their citations how to really be cognizant and what I say is just on purpose with driving that thing to the top. That escapes a lot of people. Getting it set up is going to be relatively easy and Google will make that so. But when you want to really dominate, the hard part is going to, you know, passing up those guys who've been in business for 10 years, 15 years, and they, they've they got lead flow to the site, right? They have a good site built. They're not working with a free site, okay? They, they've they got everything set up in that environment to where they can rank not only their site, but also their Google My Business. And then every other marketing becomes kind of icing on the cake. And that's a good part about being in the group is, you know, you help them build out their Google My Business and then answer the questions on the ongoing calls. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, like I said before, check out the first link in the comment section description. But uh, last question for you, Aaron, if we're just getting started, you kind of mentioned it a little bit earlier, guys who are more established or ranking higher. Is there any tips you can give us uh, in this video on how we can get our Google My Business ranking higher out the gate? Yeah, just be thorough. That's what I mean. When you're in, operating in Google's environment, be thorough in everything they ask you to do or every single option they give you in that Google My Business environment, take advantage of it, right? They have a section for team photos. I don't care if it's just you, right? You may not have a team. Put you in there, right? Put, you know, put, participate in every single piece of the Google My Business environment to where you can give them those signals because Google definitely takes note on how many times it's updated. They take note of how they know how often you're in the Google My Business. They know how how what your velocity on reviews is. If you're driving reviews to that, they're aware. If you haven't had a review in a long time, they're also aware of that. You know, if you haven't logged into your Google My Business in a long time, Google starts to think that no one is at this business and they may shut down like your messaging capability, right? Where if you don't use the messenger at all, or you don't respond to customers who come through on the Google My Business Messenger, they'll shut down messaging capability in order to retain quality control. So you just need to be in there operating, be thorough, and that beyond joining the inner circle and getting all those ninja tips, um, that's the best thing that I can suggest a new guy doing, obviously, before, after getting it set up in general. Okay, awesome. So it's not by any means a, let, a set it and forget it type of deal. It's not like once you set it up, you can just leave it. You really need to be adamant with updating it and, and giving those signals to Google that this is an active business and you know things are running. All right, Aaron. Well, thank you so much for coming on today. You shed some great light on Google My Business. Hopefully, this was informative for anybody who hasn't been taking advantage of this form of marketing, and hopefully, you guys can move towards that. Like we said before, if you guys need extra help, if you want to be included in those uh, group calls, check out the first link in the comment section description. But Aaron, every guest that comes onto the channel has to pick the word of the day. What would you like <laughs> the word of the day to be? The word of the day is inner circle. The word of the day is inner circle. Comment down below inner circle and I'll hashtag you a real one. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. And until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.